Again, here at Extreme Wars X1, Honolulu, Hawaii. First time ever fights here. We got uh, three main events coming up. Unbelievable. But right now we are currently Hawaii's top team taking on Chris Brennan's next generation team, a lot of them from Orange County. Fighting for the love of the land, that's what they're calling it. The girls definitely getting their mileage in. They're, they're probably walking about five miles by the end of this night. But how many times a week do you think they're in the gym? Yeah, that's that sounds true. I'm not complaining about it. Exactly not. <laughs> we have another California boy making his way to the ring right now. This is Josh Smith. You, you gotta love the intensity. I mean, it's just, it's, Chris and, and John, you can probably tell me it's, it's like people coming into your backyard. People are coming into your house. So we got Hawaii's top team. We got these guys from Chris Brennan's uh, Next Generation team. You got that tension, you got the tension of a guy going into someone's backyard, you know, fighting in some place you're not familiar with, flying to some place, breaking up your, your natural routine. Exactly. Uh, so you got like two angles, two lot of, lot of energy coming out. And here, uh, entering the ring, Harry Sarmiento out of 808 Freight Factory. They call him the hitman. This guy likes, this is one of these guys who just like, there's, there's fighters, who, there's people who fight and there's fighters. This guy is just one of the fighters. He likes to scrap. If, if it was up to him, he'd fight every single week. Very, very, uh, not a man of many words, but I, I talked to him a few days ago and he just fought about a couple weeks ago. Absolutely, yeah. Like I mean, like I said, if, if, if there's a fight for him, he'd be fighting every single week. And there's a, there's a few times, one or a few times, he has fought, uh, you know, every week for a while. I believe he's, he's just like you said, he loves to fight. And uh, I believe he, last time I talked to him a few days ago, he's up to about almost three fights a month. Wow. Wow. Sarmiento definitely known for his endurance. Doesn't shy away from anyone. Yeah, his striking has really come on the last, like, year or two. And his grappling is pretty solid, solid enough on the ground. A lot of, a lot of people uh, locally here in Hawaii say, you know, one of the this top 155 fighters. match in our team Absolutely. competition. Absolutely. Introducing first into the Extreme Wars cage on my left. Six feet one inches tall, 151 and one half pounds. He's a member of the new generation fight team and recently was the Aztec Challenge champion. Please welcome from Lake Forest, California, Josh Smith. opponent in the blue corner and a serious opponent he is five feet seven inches tall a very ready 154 pounds this fighter has accomplished a lot in mixed martial arts he is a kicking it champion he is a super brawl tournament champion he is a rumble in the rock champion a member of the prestigious 808 Fight Team. He is one of the top 155 pound fighters in the state of Hawaii. Please welcome Hawaii Top Team Distinguished Member, Harris Sarmiento. Now, of course, training out of the same school as Ronald Jun. Hey guys, he's one of those guys who, um, he it, it, in his position is ideal. I mean, he's got Ron, he's got um, Kai Kamaka, he's got a lot of experience. And he's got Nico in there. He's just one of his young fighters coming up and just feeding off of all their experiences and and the, just the skills that they have and just sucking it all up. And, and lately, a lot of local fighters from Hawaii uh, fighting outside of Hawaii, like of course Harris on the mainland, uh, Japan. Absolutely, Harris has built quite a reputation on the West Coast. Um, there's been some talk about it. I mean, I'm actually getting tough. Oh, that's a nice high nice. kick there. Nice Smith hard, that's a nice hard body kick there. Oh, going for his guillotine. Now they call uh, Josh Submit Smith. That's what some people say. Going for a submission here. Those are some nice kicks, so. Already starting it off. You see Sarmiento. 
one of the tough things about taller fighters, <clears throat> picking him up, he's got just a few inches where, he, you know, it's hard to sweep his legs to, to take him down. Right now, as long as um, Harris keeps his head up, it kind of keeps a lot of pressure off of his, um, off the choke. Hands a little tied up in the, the ring ropes there. And Josh readjusting his grip there. If you're Harris Sarimento right here, what are you looking to do? I'm actually looking at one, to keep my head up. I like to get the hips in uh, so your back is strong uh, in order. So the, the worst thing you can do is actually bend forward and let Josh actually bend him back. Nice, nice step behind here. Josh immediately going for the Kimura. Again, the, the height is basically the big thing that's causing uh, Harris a lot of trouble as far as taking him down. And he's got it locked in. He's right up there. He's going to the ground. He's going to try and finish on the ground by, by locking up his body. By keep, keeping his back up, his shoulders up, and he can get power back into his arms. But the key is he's got to get out of that position. And Joss is hipping out. Oh, that's pretty he's, tight. He's, he's working. There's his arm. You can see that Joss trying to hip out to the left Big hand left side. Hands there. Big left hand. Smashing the body. How effective is the, is the elbow to the, I mean, in this position? Normally they're not, but from what, uh, Harris is sitting up pretty high, coming down on him. And they can easily, I mean, if he hit it right on a, an exhale or on a, uh, where it's not tensing, yeah, he can damage the floor and the floor and ribs there. Good defense. Look at that. Nice front sir. Nice open hand, right? Okay. I just stand him a little bit. And Josh staying real tight. He's got those long legs, long body. Again, Josh, known as a good submission fighter. Nice pass. And this can happen a lot when, when uh, fighters from are, are using a guard. Is uh, a fighter can kind of slip by their legs really quickly. Nice, that's the first round. Seems like a real quick first round, a lot of action. One round in the book. Who do you have to give that to? That was a difficult one to call. It was, it was a hard one. I, yeah. I, I you know, have a difficult time for that one. Because uh, Josh has some good, good body kicks. He came, he came out in, strong. Locked his guillotine in. I mean, Harris was defending him well. Finally got him to the ground. Um, and then Josh, of course, attempted submissions. Harris did land a couple of big blows. No, I'm biased. I'm going to have to go with the local board. My son, are you going to make a call on this one? You know, it, it, it's, it's going to be a hard call. Um, like like we said, I mean, as you see here, you know, Harris finishing up the round, but Josh coming out strong with some good kicks in the beginning. You know, he, yeah, he may have, he may, uh, Harris may have ended just because of those uh, strong uh, elbows to the ribs. Because a lot of, most of these fights actually are just on effective damage. Yes. And uh, those kicks are hard. They didn't rock Harris. Uh, those, those are hard, some hard elbows from the guard. Yeah, they, I mean, it, it had to be hard. I mean, Josh, he let go of the arm. He's working that arm. Yeah, yeah. You know, at a certain point, you gotta, you gotta either, you know, know when to hold him and know when to hold him. Exactly. Exactly. So very even first round. <laughs> very first round. Slight, slight edge to on Harris. Took the top position. Here we go, Here we go with round two. I mean, I've seen it much, but Harris is very effective on his set. Nice jumping, almost like a, like a little running man punch. Running man punch. His long legs working up. What he's working for is a high guard. Not only does it tie up Harris's body, but also leads to submissions. Nice little half I mean, pass Harris, after. Uh, Harris is on the mat. I mean, as far as striking on the mat, he's unbelievable. Harris is on the mat. Good, very good ground opponent. You know what? That's, that's, uh, a lot of eight-week fighters are solid ground pounders. They make those submission guys pay for those right. submission attempts. Oh. It's, I mean, it's almost hard. I mean, as you're a good submission fighter, like we saw earlier, he, he worked in the arm, but taking the strikes. Absolutely. Oh. Unbelievable. Heavy elbow. And it's not just throwing he's, punches, it's actually, he's, he's, he's landing, he's trying, he's trying to elbows, his weight behind elbows. That one actually, uh, he had his hands up to block it. Brian had his hands up to block it, so he didn't take the full brunt of it, but I mean, that, that soft pressure, uh, forearms, tires your arms out a little bit. Uh, he has a north south position. I believe 
you cannot knee. No knees. Yeah, there's no knees on the ground, so that's that's what that was being clarified. Good roll up. Oh, he said big mouse on the right, nice. right He's got it. I'm thinking the eye is closing in a few seconds. Yeah. That's probably for one of those elbows is slipping off. One of those grazing elbows could easily cause that. Now, Chris Pitt, you're in a very vulnerable position right now. What can he do to get out of this? Right now, it's, it's difficult. He's against the ropes. What normally what you do is actually you kick out the kick the opponent's knees to push him off, creates some space to scramble back up. Harris is doing a lot of things. Another another elbow to the opposite side. Nice pass, quick right. pass, and coming right down the, the alley. So the whole time he's down there, he's got to be thinking about those those elbows coming down and you know. Makes him tentative to do anything. It's got to it's got to frustrate you as a grappler. I mean, as a good as a good submission fighter, to think that you're gonna throw in a type of hold, but you know the strikes are coming. That's right. Yeah, it's a huge difference between grappler and MMA. Yeah. And Harris is great at chopping the tree down. Man. Big right hand. Another left. He's going for right the bar right here. Trying to kick off, if you can get Harris off balance a little bit. A bit difficult. Okay. Oh, Harris is my first toe hold. Okay. He's got a nice toe hold locked in there, too. Gosh, nice. And he taps off the toe. Top. Great position. Unbelievable. That was a fight. That was mixed martial arts right there. Extreme Wars X1 right here at the Blaze Del Arena, Hulu Hawaii. Harris the Hitman Sarmiento. Smith had only two seconds left in that round. If Smith could have held on for two more seconds, the bell would have saved him. Josh submits Smith. And let's take a look at the replay. Here, uh, again, Smith is trying to kick him off, trying to go for that knee bar. Harris is locked in the, in the uh, cohort. And right now he's just kind of just leaning his weight into it. He's got gravity on the side. And just cranking the, the bend of the knee also accentuates the, the toe you see him tapping out there difficult position he's, he's locked in that he's got that, that figure four actually the um, the triangle position on the leg he's, he's not really he can't move on to that it's hard to he has to totally have to break that grip and Josh you Smith know. has the uh, ice pack on that right eye let's see if we can get a close up of uh, some of the damage that Harris Sarmiento was able to inflict the more I watch Harris fight, the and better he gets. I mean, he's just, the training, the it, it's paying off. The fights that he's been doing three times a month. Round. I mean, not, in, not only Your in the gym, but he is actually going Harris to a lot of different association fights. So like you said earlier, he's got to be in the best possible position with Ranjan, the same school. Kai Kamak at the same school. Here we go. Here's, here's his locking up for the hold. Again, that, that bending of the knee makes accentuates the, the, the effectiveness of the, the toe hold. And Harris is just leaning it, not only just arm power, but actually leaning his power, his body weight into that, that toe hold too. And Blaze because of the, the bending of the, 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 the uh, triangle of the leg, he's not really going anywhere. This is one hell of a kick-ass arm.